Today, we're going to look at how we will use electronic signatures to complete our appraisal documents inside of Strive. Once your appraiser has allowed you to see your summative document, that's when you will uh, receive an email telling you that it's available. You can also go into Strive, and then you'll see your evaluation process here. You're looking for that summative document or whatever document it is that you need to review. Um, and so you're going to see that an electronic signature is required. Go ahead and click on that summative document, and here's where you'll review it. If you have questions or, or have a dispute, um, you can submit a message here to your principal. Once you have both have come to an agreement, you can then come up here to electronically sign your document. You click electronically sign and um, you'll see that your signature is pending. If you select your name as the teacher, you'll be able to enter your username and password as well as the answer to the security question you set up in your profile. If you have not set up a security question, you won't see this page and you'll need to go to your profile and add that security question. So here you'll put in your username and password for Eduphoria. Put in your um, answer to your security question and click electronically sign document. And then your portion of this process will be completed. For PPD teachers, the process is just a little bit different because there are three different documents that you'll have to sign. Uh, under your goal setting process where you have your PPD and goal setting and PD plan, here is where you're going to sign that electronically. Uh, however, you're the only person that signs it. Your appraiser doesn't sign it. They will just see that you signed it. You then have under the annual summary, you have a document called annual summary of PPD. And this is another document that you review and then you sign it. Your appraiser does not sign it. And finally, you'll have your annual summary of PPD signature acknowledgement page. There's no evaluation information here. It's just the location where both you and your appraiser will sign it. So once your appraiser has assigned this form to you, you'll get an email notification. And then you can come in here. If you have questions, need to have a dialogue, you can do that right inside before signing. Otherwise, once it's been assigned to you, you can come straight to electronically sign. Click on your own name and sign your document here. And this is where you put your username, password, and the answer to that security question that you had. And now I wanna show non-teaching staff how we will use electronic signatures on your own. Um, for, so for this example, I'm a campus secretary. However, there's a long list of different roles that um, may be applied to you and you might have a little bit different name, but the requirements are typically the same for all those positions. And you'll have a self-reflection that you complete. Um, so you go to the evaluation process inside of Strive, you click that plus sign, and you're going to add your own campus um, self-reflection, whatever your role is, and this, this will be the only option that you have. Um, and so when you create that, you can go through and answer this information. And once you've filled this out, you can then click submit to appraiser, and your appraiser will be notified that your self-evaluation has been completed. You will also receive notification when your actual appraisal has been completed by your appraiser. They will fill it out and mark the Let Staff View button and you'll get an email notification. That's where you can come here, view your uh, summative document. You can review the answers that your appraiser put and then you wanna select electronically sign. As long as you've added a security question to your profile, um, you'll be able to come here and sign it. You will sign it before your appraiser signs it. Um, they can't make any changes after you've signed it, um, but what we are asking is for our, our appraisees to sign it first, and then your appraiser will sign it. You put in your username and password for Eduphoria, as well as the answer to that security question, and then click electronically sign document. At that point, your signature will change from pending to signed. There'll be a check mark, and your Appraiser will be notified that you've signed it, and then they can come in and sign it as well. There won't be any printing of this document. It will be contained inside of your Eduphoria profile, and you can access your appraisals uh, inside of Eduphoria. Uh, 